Welcome to installing ExoShield Ultra. In this video, we take you through the steps to installing the ExoShield Ultra DIY kit using the tools that come inside of the box. Before we get started, it's important to note that while you can't do the install solo, it's way easier to install ExoShield Ultra with a buddy. You're going to start by thoroughly cleaning the work area and removing as much dirt and debris as possible from the windshield and surrounding body panels. Cleaning the work area is one of the most important steps in the installation process. A great prep is going to set you up for success. For cleaning the vehicle and installing ExoShield, we're going to make a slip solution. To make this slip solution, use four drops of the provided soap into the black spray bottle. Be careful and make sure you only add four drops. Adding too much soap to your solution can leave bubbles in the install. The small soap bottle provided should be enough for about 10 refills of the black spray bottle. You'll be using a lot of water, so expect to refill this multiple times. Wet the windshield and surrounding panels with your slip solution and thoroughly flush out any debris from the gaskets. This contamination can creep into the install, so you'll want to deal with it early on. Now you can lift the wipers to get to the bottom gasket, and while the wipers are up, give them a quick clean at this stage as well. Using your slip solution and the ultra-fine scrubbing pad provided, go over the entire windshield to take off any contaminants that are stuck to the glass. If there's already a coating that's been applied to the windshield, you'll want to remove it using a diluted isopropyl alcohol wash. Mix three parts water to one part IPA. Now, carefully check the windshield for any remaining imperfections and revisit them with your pad if you need to. Don't forget to give the inside of your windshield a quick clean. It's easy to mistake contamination in your install for something on the inside of the glass if you don't. After using your squeegee to clean the windshield, you're ready to move on to the initial positioning of your ExoShield Ultra Film. It's time to fit your piece of ExoShield Ultra to the windshield. Unrolling ExoShield Ultra is easiest with two people, one holding the roll while the other handles the film. Always be careful when handling ExoShield. The edges of the film are sharp and could cut you if you're not cautious. To prep the windshield for installation, wet the glass with your slip solution. This gives the film something to adhere to while you're checking the positioning. Place the film onto the windshield with the liner side facing out and gently slide your film into position so that there's a 1 16th inch gap all of the way around the windshield. This isn't critical at this stage, but knowing what the gap looks like right now and how to slide the film into position will help you align it later when we expose the adhesive to the windshield. It's important to note that if you're installing on an aftermarket windshield, your positioning is going to look slightly different. Once you're happy with the placement of your exoshield, tack the center of the film and you're ready to move on to step three, releasing the liner. Starting on one corner, grab onto the liner and peel it back to release the liner from the adhesive side of exoshield. We suggest pulling the liner at a sharp angle to avoid having the film pull up off of the glass. Continue to spray your solution between the liner and exoshield while you're releasing the liner. This helps minimize the static charge created and avoids unnecessary contamination being drawn into the install. Once you peel back the liner to just over halfway across the windshield, place it back down to roughly its original position. Repeat this step on the other side to ensure the liner has been fully released from the adhesive. Once you have the liner back in place, we can move on to prepping the windshield for installation. It's time to get your piece of ExoShield Ultra ready for application. Head back to the same side you began releasing the liner on, and this time release the film from the windshield. You should have both the liner and ExoShield Ultra in your hands at this point. Roll the ExoShield and liner in towards the middle of the windshield. Make sure the roll stays square to the windshield as you roll it up. Now that you have the entire piece of ExoShield Ultra rolled, clean the windshield one last time before application. Make sure to keep track of the orientation that you have ExoShield rolled in so that you know which is the top and which is the bottom edge. In the reverse roll step, we're removing the liner completely and introducing the adhesive onto the glass. First, wet the windshield thoroughly with your slip solution. This lets ExoShield move freely on the glass at this stage. Peel back the liner just a few inches to expose the adhesive to the windshield. Line the film up with a 1 16th inch gap and hold it in place while you begin unrolling ExoShield across the windshield. Start to guide the roll across the windshield by gently pulling on the liner. 
If you have a second set of hands at this point, it's easiest to pass the liner to someone standing on the opposite side of the windshield so that they can continue pulling on the liner while you guide the film into place. Once the liner is fully unrolled, ExoShield should move freely on the windshield, allowing for any final adjustments to the fit before tacking ExoShield into place. Make sure that before you do tack ExoShield into place, you do a thorough check on the overall fit. You want that 16th inch gap around the perimeter of the windshield. Once you're happy with the placement of your ExoShield and you have a consistent gap around the windshield, it's time to tack your film into place. In this step, it's important to make sure that when you tack ExoShield to the glass, it doesn't shift or move out of place. To help keep your film from shifting, have a friend hold the film in place before you make your first pass with the squeegee. If you're flying solo, make small even passes in the middle of the windshield with one hand holding the film in place until you have it locked. Using the squeegee, make long gentle passes from the center of the film towards the edge of the film to secure ExoShield in place. Overlap your strokes by about two thirds each time to ensure that all of the moisture is being removed evenly from behind the film. Give your squeegee a good cleaning before this step to make sure you're not dragging any dirty tools across the film. Immediately after your first pass, you'll need to squeegee your windshield with a lot of pressure three to four times fully to remove enough moisture from behind the film. Make sure to also wet the surface of ExoShield so that the blade will glide smoothly across the surface of the film. During these squeegee passes, apply as much pressure as possible with your strokes overlapping by about two thirds each time. Every time you pass over the entire surface of the film, stop to look through the windshield to see if there's any contamination that could be saved. Make sure you're extra thorough with this squeegee step. You'll want to pass over the film at least three times to make sure that you're removing enough moisture before leaving the film to cure. Once your film starts the curing process, you won't be able to squeegee over it again without leaving adhesive marks. So make sure to be thorough before you park the car in the sun to begin curing. At this point, we recommend giving the film a quick clean with a tint safe cleaner like invisible glass and a fresh microfiber cloth. This will allow you to identify any contamination that could be saved before parking the vehicle outside and allowing the sun to cure the film. You're going to notice some moisture behind the film over the two weeks it takes to fully cure. Park your vehicle in the sun as much as possible to help speed up this process. All right, that's a wrap. Now you know how to protect your windshield with ExoShield Ultra. Thanks so much for watching and happy wheeling. Don't forget to check out the rest of our installation tip videos available on our YouTube channel.